In this video, we'll focus on Proposition 18 in Section 14.3. That says that x to the p to the n minus x is the product of all the distinct irreducible polynomials of degree d in fp bracket x, where d runs through all the divisors of f. So let me first say that when I say irreducible polynomials in fp bracket x, if you take a polynomial and you multiply it by uh, a unit, that doesn't change whether or not it's irreducible. So when I say distinct irreducible polynomials, I mean distinct monic irreducible polynomials. Uh, OK, so why is this an interesting or an important result? Because we know that fp to the n is the splitting field of this polynomial over fp, but we haven't actually talked yet about how to factor this polynomial. So now we understand how to factor this polynomial into a product of irreducible factors. So before proving this proposition, I want to um, talk about some things that you can do with it. So let's just look at an example. Let's take p equals n equals 2. So x to the 2 to the 2 minus x is the product of all irreducibles of degree 1 and all irreducibles of degree 2 in f2 bracket x. OK, so I know how many irreducibles there are of degree 1. I mean, there's x, and then there's x plus 1. And both of those are irreducible. So let's see what's left over. Let's take x to the fourth minus x and divide by x times x plus 1. And just doing long division, you'll see that what you get is x squared plus x plus 1. So that tells you automatically that this polynomial is irreducible. Because you know that the only, uh, yeah, I mean, there are no other linear factors, for one thing. But it tells you this polynomial is an irreducible of degree 2 and that there are no others, because every irreducible of degree 2 divides x to the fourth minus x, divides x to the p to the n minus x. So this is the only irreducible of degree 2 in f2 bracket x. OK, next, let's talk about a problem from a recent algebra comprehensive exam. I guess, OK, not that recent, spring 2010, number 10. Uh, this asks for, what is the number of irreducible polynomials of degree 4 in fp bracket x? Well, OK, what do we know? If you take x to the p to the fourth minus x, it is the product of all the distinct irreducibles of degree 1, 2, and 4 in fp bracket x. So let's count each one of those numbers and keep track of the degree. So this is a product of a bunch of polynomials, and this product has degree p to the fourth. How many linear factors occur in the product? Well, what does a linear factor look like? It's x minus alpha or some alpha in fp, and all those polynomials are irreducible. So there are p irreducible polynomials of degree 1. You multiply them all together, you get a factor of degree p of this polynomial of degree p to the fourth. How many irreducibles in fp bracket x have degree 2? Well, let's figure that out by looking instead of at x to the p to the fourth minus x, look at x to the p squared minus x. This has degree p squared, and it's a product of all the irreducible factors of degree 1 and all the irreducible factors of degree 2. So how many irreducible factors are there of degree 1? p. We just said that. So p irreducibles of degree 1, that gives a factor of degree p. And everything else is every other factor is irreducible of degree 2. And all together, you multiply this degree p factor by all these irreducible degree 2 factors, and you get something of degree p squared. So how many of those things do you have to get? The contribution from the product of all the irreducibles of degree 2 has degree p squared minus p. So how many irreducibles of degree 2 are there? p squared minus p divided by 2. OK, so now we know how many irreducibles there are of degree 1. We know how many irreducibles there are of degree 2. How many irreducibles are there of degree 4? Well, this polynomial of degree p to the fourth is a product of p irreducibles of degree 1 and p squared minus p over 2 irreducibles of degree 2 and some number of irreducibles of degree 4, where 4 times whatever that number is has to uh, times 
the contribution from the degree two things times the contribution from the degree one things gives you something of degree p to the fourth. So what is that number of irreducibles of degree p to the four of degree four? p to the fourth minus p times one minus two times p squared minus p over two divided by four. So the de total degree of the product of all of the irreducibles of degree four is the, the numerator here. So the number of irreducibles of degree four, you just divide by four. And you see that you get some cancellation here and you get p squared, p to the fourth minus p squared over four. Okay, this is a little more complicated looking than it has to be. What do we have here? We have a product of a bunch of irreducibles of degree four, and then a product of a bunch of irreducibles of degree one and a bunch of irreducibles of degree two. So instead of counting the degree one things and the degree two things separately, we know that the product of all the irreducibles of degree one and all the irreducibles of degree two is x to the p squared minus x. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that x to the p to the fourth minus x equals x to the p squared minus x times the product of all irreducibles of degree four. So how many irreducibles are there of degree four? Well, this has degree p squared, p to the fourth. This has degree p squared. The number of irreducibles of degree four is p to the fourth minus p squared over four. Okay, so what do we know? We have a formula for the number of irreducibles of degree one, the number of irreducibles of degree two, and the number of irreducibles of degree four. Well, what about the number of irreducibles of degree 36? So I'll pause and erase, and I'll just talk very briefly about a general formula using this kind of idea for the number of irreducibles of degree uh, n in FP bracket X. I'll just say briefly that we can generalize the kind of argument that we've been talking about and can give a general formula for this function psi of n, which counts the number of polynomials f of x in fp bracket x that are monic, irreducible, and degree n. So the formula for this function requires one additional input, which comes from elementary number theory or combinatorics, which is called the Mobius inversion formula. So I'm not going to talk about that here or how that works, but uh, it's very cool, so you should look it up. And the formula is that psi of n equals one over n times the sum over divisors d of n of mu of d times p to the n over d. Where what is this mu of d? This is the Mobius mu function, where mu of n is one if n is one. It's zero if n is not square free, that is if n has any square factor. And otherwise it's minus one to the r if n is a product of r distinct prime numbers. Okay. Let's check that we believe that this is true. Psi of four then is a sum, uh, it's one fourth times the sum of divisors D of four of mu of D times P to the four over D. So it's one fourth mu of one times P to the four over one plus mu of two times P to the four over two plus mu of four times P to the one. And mu of one is one P to the fourth, one fourth P to the fourth. Mu of two is minus one because two is a product of one distinct prime. And mu of four is zero because four is not square free. So we get one fourth p to the fourth minus p squared. So it matches what we got before. Okay, so I'm not gonna say anything else about this, but I definitely encourage you uh, to look it up. All right, I'm gonna pause and erase, and then we'll prove proposition 18. Let's prove proposition 18. Okay, so we know that fp to the n is the splitting field of x to the p to the n minus x over fp. That fp to the n, this finite field of order p to the n, is this collection of roots of this polynomial. x to the p to the n minus x splits completely into distinct linear factors in fp to the n bracket x. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, if you factor this in the splitting field, you get all these linear factors. And what we're going to do is consider an irreducible polynomial of degree k in fp bracket x. And first, we're going to show that if p of x divides 
x to the p to the n minus x, then k has to divide n. So every, we know that x to the p to the n minus x factors into a product of irreducible polynomials in fp bracket x. So first we're gonna show that the degree of any one of those irreducible factors has to be a divisor d of n. And then we're gonna show that if you have an irreducible polynomial of degree k, where k does divide n, then it does divide x to the p to the n minus x. Okay, so there's two directions here. So first, if p of x divides x to the p to the n minus x, it also splits completely into distinct linear factors in f p to the n bracket x. Uh, so, okay, so you take a root of this polynomial alpha. So that means that alpha is in f p to the n. So if you take the subfield, or sorry, if you take the field generated over fp by alpha, that's a subfield now of fp to the n. So what does that mean? What's the degree of that subfield? It's the degree of its minimal polynomial, which is p of x, because p of x is irreducible. So it's k. But we know that the subfields of fp to the n are in bijection with divisors d of n. So in particular, now k has to be a divisor of n. Okay, so now all we have to do is we show, we suppose now that k divides n. So we wanna say that if p of x is an irreducible polynomial of degree k in fp bracket x, then p of x divides x to the p to the n minus x. Okay, so here's the idea. Let's take p of x and let's take a root in some extension of fp. So let's say alpha is a root in some extension of fp. We know that the degree of fp adjoint alpha over fp is k. And now, since k divides n, we know that fp to the n has a subfield, fp to the k, contained in fp to the n, for which fp adjoint alpha is isomorphic to fp to the k. All right, so since p of x has a root in fp adjoint alpha, it has a root in fp to the k because these fields are isomorphic to each other, this isomorphism has to take a root of p of x to a root of p of x. So, okay, fp to the k is this subfield of fp to the n, so it has a root in fp to the n. But if p of x is an irreducible polynomial in fp bracket x that has one root in fp to the n, because fp to the n over fp is Galois, all of the roots of p of x are in fp to the n. And you can even say the same thing for the smaller field fp to the k. Since fp to the k over fp is Galois, all the roots of p of x are in fp to the k. So all the roots of p of x are in fp to the n. Okay, so when you uh, factor p of x, it factors into distinct linear factors in uh, fp to the n. So uh, it divides x to the p to the n minus x, because the roots of p of x are elements of fp to the n. They are contained in the set of roots of x to the p to the n minus x, because the roots of this polynomial are all of the elements of fp to the n. So I'll point out that what I've written here is presented in a different way than uh, in Dummett and Foot. I encourage you to check out the argument that's written in Dummett and Foot as well, although to be honest, I find the presentation there a little confusing.